Yashar, Jasher 43. And, and when the sons of Yaakov had sold their brother Yosef to the Midyatnaim, their hearts were smitten on account of him, and they repented of their acts, and they sought for him to bring him back, but could not find him. And Reuven returned to the pit in which Yosef had been put in order to lift him out and restore him to his father. And Reuven stood by the pit and he heard not a word. And he called out, Yosef, Yosef. And no one answered or uttered a word. And Reuven said, Yosef has died through fright, or some serpent has caused his death. And Reuven descended into the pit. And he searched for Yosef and could not find him in the pit. And he came out again. And Reuven tore his garments and he said, the child is not there, and how shall I reconcile my father about him if he be dead? And he went to his brethren and found them grieving on account of Yosef, and counseling together how to reconcile their father about him. And Reuven said unto his brethren, I came to the pit, and behold, Yosef was not there. What then shall we say unto our father? For my father will only seek the lad from me. And his brethren answered him, saying, Thus and thus we did, and our hearts afterwards smote us on account of this act. And we now sit to seek a pretext how we shall reconcile our father to it. And Reuven said unto them, What is this you have done to bring down the gray hairs of our father in sorrow to Sheol? The thing is not good that you have done. And Reuven sat with them, and they all rose up and swore to each other not to tell this thing unto Yaakov. And they all said, The man who will tell this to our father or his household, or who will report this to any of the children of the land, we will all rise up against him and slay him with the sword. And the sons of Yaakov feared each other in this matter, from the youngest to the oldest, and no one spoke a word and they concealed the thing in their hearts. And they afterward sat down to determine and invent something to say unto their father, Yaakov, concerning all these things. And Yishachar said unto them, Here is an advice for you, if it seems good in your eyes, to do this thing. Take the coat which belongs to Yosef and tear it and kill a kid of the goats and dip it in its blood and send it to our father. And when he sees it, he will say, an evil beast has devoured him. Therefore, tear ye his coat and behold, his blood will be upon his coat. And by your doing this, we shall be free of our father's murmurings. And Yishachar's advice pleased them, and they hearkened unto him, and they did according to the word of Yishachar, which he had counseled them. And they hastened and took Yosef's coat and tore it. And they killed a kid of the goats, 
and dipped the coat in the blood of the kid and then then trampled it in the dust and they sent the coat to their father Yaakov by the hand of Naphtali and they commanded him to say these words we had gathered in the cattle and had come as far as the road to Shechem and farther when we found this coat upon the road in the wilderness dipped in blood and in dust now therefore know whether it be your son's coat or not and naphtali went and he came unto his father and he gave him the coat and he spoke unto him all the words which his brethren had commanded him and Yaakov saw Yosef's coat, and he knew it, and he fell upon his face to the ground, and became as still as a stone. And he afterward rose up and cried out with a loud and weeping voice, and he said, It is the coat of my son Yosef. And Yaakov hastened and sent one of his servants to his sons who went to them and found them coming along to the road with the flock. And the sons of Yaakov came to their father about evening and behold, their garments were torn and dust was upon their heads and they found their father crying out and weeping with a loud voice. And Yaakov said unto his sons, Tell me truly, what evil have you this day suddenly brought upon me? And they answered their father, Yaakov, saying, We were coming along this day after the flock had been gathered in, and we came as far as the city of Shechem by the road in the wilderness, and we found this coat filled with blood upon the ground, and we knew it, and we sent it unto you if you could know it. And Yaakov heard the words of his sons, and he cried out with a loud voice, and he said, It is the coat of my son. An evil beast has devoured him. Yosef is rent in pieces, for I sent him this day to see whether it was well with you and well with the flocks and to bring me word again from you. And he went as I commanded him, and this has happened to him this day, while I thought my son was with you. And the sons of Yaakov answered and said, He did not come to us, neither have we seen him from the time of our going out from you until now. And when Yaakov heard their words, he again cried out aloud, and he rose up and tore his garments, and he put sackcloth upon his loins, and he wept bitterly. And he mourned and lifted up his voice in weeping and exclaimed and said these words, Yosef, my son, O oh, my son Yosef, I sent you this day after the welfare of your brethren. Behold, you have been torn in pieces. Through my hand has this happened to my son. It grieves me for you, Yosef, my son. It grieves me for you. How sweet were you to me during life. And now, how exceedingly bitter is your death to me. Oh, that I had cried rather died in your stead, Yosef, my son. For it grieves me sadly for you, my son. Oh, my son, my son, Yosef, my son, where are you? And where have you been drawn? Arouse, arouse from your place and come and see my grief for you. O oh, my son, Yosef, 
Come now and number the tears gushing from my eyes down my cheeks and bring them up before Yahuwah that his anger may turn from me. O oh, Yosef, my son, how did you fall by the hand of one by whom no one had fallen from the beginning of the world unto this day? For you have been put to death by the smiting of an enemy, inflicted with cruelty. But surely I know that this has happened to you on account of the multitude of my sins. Arouse now and see how bitter is my trouble for you, my son, although I did not rear you, nor fashion you, nor give you breath and soul. But it was Elohim who formed you and built your bones and covered them with flesh and breathed in your nostrils the breath of life then he gave you unto me. Now truly Elohim, who gave you unto me, he has taken you from me, and such then has befallen you this day, and all the works of Elohim are good. And Yaakov continued to speak like unto these words concerning Yosef, and he wept bitterly, he fell to the ground and became still. And all the sons of Yaakov, seeing their father's trouble, they repented of what they had done, and they also wept bitterly. And Yahuda rose up and lifted his father's head from the ground and placed it upon his lap. And he wiped his father's tears from his cheeks. And Yahuda wept an exceeding great weeping while his father's head was reclining upon his lap, still as a stone. And the sons of Yaakov saw their father's trouble, and they lifted up their voices and continued to weep. And Yaakov was yet lying upon the ground, still as a stone. And all his sons and his servants and his servants' children rose up and stood round him to comfort him, and he refused to be comforted. And the whole household of Yaakov rose up and mourned a great mourning on account of Yosef and their father's trouble. And the intelligence reached Yitzchak, the son of Avraham, the father of Yaakov, and he wept bitterly on account of Yosef. He and all his household. And he went from the place where he dwelt in Hebron, and his men with him, and he comforted Yaakov, his son. And he refused to be comforted. And after this, Yaakov rose up from the ground and his tears were running down his cheeks. And he said unto his sons, Rise up and take your swords and your bows and go forth into the field and seek whether you can find my son's body and bring it unto me that I may bury it. Seek also, I pray you, among the beasts and hunt them and that which shall come the first before you, seize and bring it unto me. Perhaps Yahuwah will this day pity my affliction and prepare before you that which did tear my son in pieces and bring it unto me, and I will avenge the cause of my son. And his sons did as their father had commanded them, and they rose up early in the morning and each took his sword and his bow in his hand. And they went forth into the field to hunt the beasts. And Yaakov was still crying aloud and weeping and walking to and fro in the house and smiting his hands together, saying, Yosef, my son, Yosef, my son. 
And the sons of Yaakov went into the wilderness to seize the beasts. And behold, a wolf came toward them. And they seized him and brought him unto their father. And they said unto him, This is the first we have found. We have brought him unto you as you did command us. And your son's body we could not find. And Yaakov took the beast from the hands of his sons, and he cried out with a loud and weeping voice, holding the beast in his hand. And he spoke with a bitter heart unto the beast, Why did you devour my son Yosef? And how did you have no fear of the Elohim of the earth, or of my trouble for my son Yosef? And you did devour my son for naught, because he committed no violence, and did thereby render me culpable on his account. Therefore, Elohim will require him that is persecuted. And Yahuwah opened the mouth of the beast in order to comfort Yahuwah with its words, and it answered Yaakov and spoke these words unto him. As Elohim lives, who created us in the earth, and as your soul lives, my Lord, I did not see your son, neither did I tear him to pieces. But from a distant land, I also came to seek my son, who went from me this day. And I know not whether he be living or dead. And I came this day into the field to seek my son. And your sons found me and seized me and increased my grief and have this day brought me before you. And I have now spoken all my words to you. And now, therefore, O son of Adam, I am in your hands, and do unto me this day as it may seem good in your sight, but by the life of Elohim who created me, I did not see your son, nor did I tear him to pieces, neither has the flesh of man entered my mouth all the days of my life. And when Yaakov heard the words of the beast, he was greatly astonished and sent forth the beast from his hand. And she went her way. And Yaakov was still crying aloud and weeping for Yosef day after day. And he mourned for his son many days.